everything I need now. Eyes peeled, mouth closed. Switch is your first real console? Cool. I mean, it's a nice system. I don't get to play it very often, though, anymore. I don't know why, I just don't really... It's not in my usual rotation. I'm usually sat up here. So this is one of the other good things about getting that capture card. Um, I can do what streaming was not originally meant to be for me, but I knew it was going to help. I have a huge back catalogue of games I've never played. Oh, God. There's a guy here. Hi. Pop. And... I thought to myself, well, if I go streaming stuff more often, I can play them. It gives me an excuse, like, that's why I played The Witcher. You know, it was like, games I'd had in my inventory for ages, and I never got around to playing. And then I got to play them, finally, for you guys. So, you know, I do like that. Um, and maybe this will help me with the Switch as well, then. It's like, all these games, I'm like, oh, I want to play that, I want to play that, but I never get them, never get around to them, and so on. I only played half of Breath of the Wild. I mean, that's a huge game, right? But, yeah. Alright, I want to wait till morning. Oh, let's not wait. Let's camp camp. Wait, are we seriously sleeping here? Yes. You see a better place. You just got a capture card, uh, but have to set up Streamlabs first. Streamlabs setup's pretty easy as well, so... Uh, I've never played with the controllers. There's a huge learning curve. Oh, really? Cool. You have the card and the external version. Oh, you got, yeah, the USB. I was torn between that and getting the internal one, and I decided to get the internal one because of the higher data rate. Not that it matters, because when, you, when you're broadcasting anyway, you're broadcasting at, like, 6,000, and that... The external one goes up to 40,000, uh, you know, kilobit. So you've got plenty of bandwidth. That was never really a problem, but this has got a built on, um, like, dedicated encoding processor, which the new externals don't have. And that kind of put me off. I was like, really? Why did the old one have it and the new one didn't? So, yeah, it's very weird. You have a laptop. That makes a lot of sense then to get that. I mean, like I say, it's still a good option to get uh, but I decided since I've got a big PC here I might as well just buy the internal one as well I can accommodate it what is that free range fowl over rice hmm that looks nice oh that's the fried rookie I'm gonna eat stuff I mean I always do this you know me I'm gonna pick this not based on the uh, the buff it gives but on the look how delicious does it look Ooh, crab. What are we missing for that? We don't have the crab itself, so we can't make that. These croquettes. I want to make stuff like this, I, like myself, croquettes and so on. I've got some pork and beef mince that I've mixed together ages ago, and I keep meaning to season it, and then mix it in with some mashed potato and onions, and then bread them and fry them. Oh, but they're going to be good. And have some, like, tonkotsu sauce to drizzle over them. Yum. One day you will build yourself a gaming PC. Good! Hope that goes well, by the way. And if you have any questions about if you've never built one before, feel free to reach out. I've built three computers of my own, all for gaming, so I can uh, you know, I can always point you in the right direction for stuff. Man, Kenny's secret recipe. We haven't eaten that yet, have we? See, this is the reason I've been doing a lot of skewered meats. This right here. <gasps> oh yeah, we're having this. The Moogle Moose. With the cupo berry sauce. That's it, yeah. It's, it, once you've got the funds, though, feel free to poke me on, on Discord or wherever, and I'll go over any questions you have. Look at that. That is adorable. Adorable food. You're an IT professional? Oh, okay, cool. Different than PCs for gaming and streaming. That's true, but that you've still got the. You know, if you know what the innards do and how they all work, you're all set. It's really just a case of picking the right hardware at that point. So yeah, that dessert does look cute, doesn't it? Totally something you'd find at a Final Fantasy themed cafe. Oh god, yes. Ah, Ignis, looking suave and sophisticated. I'm going to keep that. Oh god, look at the car. <laughs> yeah, this is how it looked when I painted it earlier on before the stream. 
It was just completely wrecked. Look at this big boy. He is a chunk. We ought to hold on to this one. Hey, Prompto! It's an action shot of Prompto. That shows he actually does fight. Oh yeah. Man, I would love to go to a Final Fantasy themed cafe. That would be so good. Ah, oh. oh, drill with the host. Hey, man, how's it going? Thank you so much for that host. I'm good to go. Just about awake. You tried leaving the chat open for a while, so Bones... Oh, yes, do exclamation mark Bones, find out how many you've got. Speaking of, you've reminded me, we have a Bone Dig game. I'm going to start one off if anybody wants to join in. Go right ahead. Hey, 113 Bones. Nice, go for it. Jump in there. Right, so we want to go that way. How should we do this, Noct? Just do whatever. Not helpful. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. He's an angry crab. Such an angry crab. But yeah, if you want to join the dig, guys, do exclamation mark dig space and the number of bones you want to throw into the pot to go look for more bones. You can come away with more if you win. And do exclamation mark bones if you want to find out how many you've got. You gain those just by watching. So, good luck to you all. Oh, <laughs> almost. It's an exclamation mark. <laughs> You gotta hold that shift button a little harder. It's the same as the license plate number. How? How indeed. Maybe there's a secret message here. Oh, Jesus, this guy. Okay, kill them with fire. Boom! That was not where I needed that to be. Oh god, these bloody wasps. Bloody wasps! Ow! Okay, that worked out nicely. In my confused state, I switched to a weapon that is better for them. <laughs> ah! What hit me? Get down here, you! Boom! Yes! Ooh! Gotcha! <laughs> Alright, you hate bugs. Me? Yeah, can't stand them. Same here. Icky. There we go. Do a shout out for Vlodril there as well. Still haven't finished. Nope. We're doing more hunts. Uh, just want to level up more, get my hunting level maxed out, that kind of thing. And then we're going to go on to the main end mission. And then we've got the chapters to do. And then we've got end game stuff to do. There's so much to do. Once we get past the main missions and the chapters, I'm going to start playing something else alongside this for a while, so we'll alternate the games until we're done with either one or the other. What can I say? But yes, thank you for that host again, Vlodril. Much appreciated. Always good to see you, buddy. Oop, gotcha. Shrooms. Mmm. A prismatic shard. Shall we? Yeah. <sighs> Rude, I was having coffee. Boom. Always stream at the same time. <laughs> you go for a bit longer than me. Yeah, that's right. That's our schedule seem to just sync up that way. It's a shame, I'd like to raid you and host you one day, too. <laughs> Onward. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're watching, but just got off a night shift, may drift off. No problem, you do that. You do what needs to be done. And wow, the dig is over and Amber's the only one to win anything. You never know, that's it. Yep, you never do. I mean, like... Last week, I didn't expect that I was going to go over two whole hours playing this game, <laughs> heading towards the end of that part of the story. Ah, <sighs> I'm done. Yes, fated. That was the magic one one three that did that for you, Amber. I won't miss that place one bit. Um. Oh shit! We just came out instead of. I was following the quest marker for turning in the quest. You idiot, Matt. You utter doofus. 
Uh, there we go. Well, look, I just wanted to clear the way out before going deeper in. Okay, it's called securing your foothold. This was tactics. This was military tactics. Speaking of which, Vlodril, I saw you were playing Total War Three Kingdoms. How are you enjoying that? I've only played one Total War game, and that was the Warhammer one. I liked it, uh, but I haven't really looked at any of the others. <gasps> 60 bitties from T Weasel, thank you! That's awesome! Thank you for that. And thank you as well for sending me that link for my wife, by the way, for that Discord. I passed it on to her earlier on. But yeah, um, she uses a different username in my Discord server, so that's probably why you didn't recognize her. She's Iron Dragon on my Discord. Right, okay, we need to go this away. Pretty good, certainly enjoyable in co op. Ah, yeah, yeah. Why are we going so slow up this hill? Bomb them! Oh, god damn, I just cooked me a mandrake. Oh god! Ooh, yeah, there we go. Seems the best of the series. That's one thing I've heard as well from a lot of people that have played it, is they've said it's very much improved over previous Total Wars. Like, there's a lot more quality of life in it and stuff like that. The story's really good. So, yeah. Awesome. I want them to make a Total War Warhammer 40k version. You know? That would be nice. I mean, I know we've had Dawn of War and everything, but... I mean, that's an RTS game, so you take all the whole base-building tanky aspects out of it, and then... Just give me an army to ro like roam a planet and conquest in the name of the Emperor. That would be great. Yeah, waiting for the sci-fi one. Oh. Depends whether Game Workshop will give them the license for that particular one, you know? I mean, they've got license, but it's like subdivided out of like you can only make a Warhammer Fantasy one and so on. Or maybe, you know, Creative Assembly only want to make a fantasy version because it fits their themologies, you know, like, what they like to make. Oh god, the Bandersnatch is loose! Kill! I want to chop his tail off. Can I chop his tail off? Please tell me I can chop that tail off. Ow! He's hitting me with that tail that I want to chop off. Come on, you big ugly brute. Ow, ow, ow. That's right, yeah, lately they have been very free with their license these last few years. There's been so many, you know, like, new styles of Warhammer games. They were literally just giving it to anybody, even if they made complete shit. You know. They were like, well, let's just try it. Instead of just sticking to the, like, oh, the odd one or two developers that they always worked with. It's not necessarily a bad thing when you think about it. I want this tail. Kill it. Ow. I was in the middle of a swing I couldn't block. Oh, I keep trying to do a warp strike to hit it from further away and do more damage, but damn thing keeps turning as I strike. Come on. Oh god. Hey Sam, you're late. <laughs> oh my god, this thing will just back off a minute. There we go. 
And yeah, it is the best way for sure to handle that. There we go. Kill it! Boom! I'm on a quest to try to slice that tail off. Ow. I'm down, guys. I'm down. Help! Help! Iggy! Iggy! No, don't be confused. Come over here and help me. Mom. Oh, God. Okay, back it off again. Ow! God damn! Wouldn't expect any less from you. Okay, here we go. Oh, can we get a different person while I'm stunned? Come on, give me a good summon. Who's new? Still this one. Are you kidding? <laughs> Where is this dungeon exactly? Well, this is an outdoor dungeon. You got the Water God last time. Oh, I've only ever seen Leviathan once after the fight so far. Yeah, nothing like the Divine to get you out of a bind. I wonder who it would summon if you weren't getting Garuda all the time. I think it's it was always usually Ramo for me rather than Garuda. Yeah, Leviathan with the tsunamis. But yeah, we got that royal arm anyway. So there's oh, is there something behind the tomb? I should always check. But yeah, Garuda seems to be the general summon that you get every time you just have a general fight, you know? And it seems to summon everywhere, indoors and outdoors, both. But I've never seen Titan. And I've never seen um, Leviathan, apart from in the story. I've seen Shiva a few times in the past, whenever I when I played this game myself, uh, when it first came out a few years ago. But that's it. That's all I got. I always got Ramu, and now I'm getting Garuda. Which, don't get me wrong, it's fine, but I still just wish it would let you at least pick from a list of available ones, given where you are. I get that if Titan's too big to spawn in an underground dungeon like a cave, cool. Okay. Don't put him on the list. Just say, well, you're indoors. You can't have this guy. Oh my god. Noctis, please just run down the hill like a normal human being. So yeah, that's one of the missteps with this. This and the magic system were the two things about this game. I'm like, well, you've made it less Final Fantasy for the way that you've programmed it. <laughs> you know? Right, let's get out of the thing, actually, before we select a new quest. So yeah, bit of a shame. Final Fantasy 16, they can do things differently. Speaking of, did you guys see that Square Enix recently put out um, a demo of the RTX technology with the engine from this game? And it, they called it Backstage. And it was literally somebody like, some woman just getting ready, putting makeup on or something in a mirror and the lighting effects and everything and how it was all like, all the ray casting, all the all the like, uh, the tracing was done, live render and so on with the new RTX cards. It looked bloody gorgeous. It really did. It certainly didn't stutter and freeze like this game does for me. <laughs> but they're saying they want to make more with that engine. So you know, hey, good. That might mean another Final Fantasy game. I guess they're using it for seven. Whether they're going to those extents, I don't know, but this is the same engine that they're apparently Smell remaking that 7 with. Fresh air. Ah, makes you feel alive. It yeah, is pretty good. You should you should definitely Why check is it out. Such a big deal with you. Let him have his fun while he's still alive. But I would love a Final Fantasy 16 when they're done remaking 7. And I'd love them to just rain. You know, <laughs> 
put more effort in, I guess, in making it back to a traditional Final Fantasy style game. Leave it to Square to get closer to the Uncanny Valley. Oh god, yeah. I mean, I, I want them to just say, you know what? We're opening up a CG film studio. And we're just going to make, not necessarily Final Fantasy movies, but we're going to make weird shit. You know, we're going to go Peter Quill with this and we're going to make some weird shit. And just go ham with it. Because they make some pretty good, good CG yeah. movies. I mean, if you watch Spirits Within, right? Final Fantasy Spirits Within, whether you love it or hate it, and not a lot of people liked it, you know, well, a lot of people did, I guess, but there were people who didn't like it. It's a fair dues. But it still looks good, like, graphically. It has not, like, it's not like it hasn't aged. It doesn't look like Reboot, you know, or Beast Wars. Not Beast Wars, um... What was it called? No. Was it Beast Wars? Battle that, that planet one? Oh god, I forgot what it's called. Shadow Raiders. That was it, not Beast Wars. Uh, it doesn't look like that's the Transformers one, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, it didn't look like Reboot or, you know, Shadow Raiders, where in the day you were like, God, this is so cool looking, it's so good. And then if you watch it today, you're like, Ooh, that looks rough. <laughs> It just shouldn't have been called Final Fantasy. Exactly. Well, that's the that's point I, I guess I'm kind of making as well, is even if they don't make a movie and call it a Final Fantasy movie and try to ride the coattails of the franchise. Oh, fine. Okay, these guys aren't going to let us run away, are they? Kill them. You know, they could at the very least make a movie. I don't care if they even take influences from Final Fantasy and just make it whatever, you know. That whole mix of uh, fantasy elements and technology. And just make a movie about it, you know. Ow! Get the hell out of my face, B. Because, yeah, their, their CG rendering, the way that the characters look... If you watch, if anybody's seen... I mean, even if you haven't, go Google it, right? Uh, Google... Um, uh, Final Fantasy King's Glaive, and look at the pictures of Emperor Aldercapt. Not from this game. If you, I mean, if you watch the earlier VODs when we went to Niflheim and see what the Emperor looks like there, versus on the... Um, on the movie, he looks so different in the movie. Like, the character even has, like, totally different face. And if you look at the character from the movie, from Kingsglaive, Emperor Aldercapt, and then look at the voice actor for him, David Gant, and just put the two pictures side by side, it's like... Whoa. You literally just ripped his face off and put it in your movie. Holy shit. It's so good. Yeah, you know, the character just looks... So much like the voice actor, David Yant. It is really, really uncanny. And it's so strange that they did it for him, but they didn't make um, King Regis look like Sean Bean, who did his I'm voice acting. And the fact that, of course, you know, that movie would have also been um, published in Japan as well. And they chose the English voice actor as the model for Emperor Aldercats. Like, look. Nothing to it. You know, instead of choosing a Japanese actor, for instance, and saying, yeah, make him look a bit like that guy. So I wonder if maybe all the different characters had different, like, regional voice actors be the uh, inspiration. Because the guy who does um, Nick Ulrich gotten the name of the actor now. Um, it was the guy from uh, Breaking Bad. Hiso Hiso. Hiso Hiso. Hiso Hiso. Um, he's the guy from Breaking Bad who played Jesse. What is his name? Jesus. Paul something or something Paul. Fuck. Tip of my tongue. Anyway, he doesn't look like Nick Ulrich. You know, the character that he voices. Although he did a really good job. He was a really good voice actor. Much respect. Huh. 
How far are we going? You saw it in Japanese theaters, for, uh, theaters first, and the lip syncing threw you off a bit. Oh, really? I mean, do you mean like with Japanese audio um, and like English subtitles? I guess, but like it doesn't sync up because I thought they did it regionally. Like they they synced up the mouth movements for each um, like each audio version they were doing. That's what I'd heard anyway. I don't know if they actually did. I guess I heard wrong. Okay, they're done. That's the next one, I think. Herald from the Depths. And then we can go up there when we're done and take those out. Good. It felt like it was animated for English. Oh, okay. I'd heard that they'd actually uh, gone ahead and re-rendered the, the lip-syncing animations for each regional audio that they were going to make. Interesting. Okay, stop snapping to that. I want to just go there. As destination, yes. Let's let Ignis anyway. drive. He hasn't had a turn at the wheel for a while, and I can give my shoulder a rest. <laughs> Poorly shoulder. Just remembered it being a bit off, okay. I mean, I find that in this game the lip syncing is really off as well. So it's like the game has been rendered for Japanese, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, uh, the, the fact that they're so good at rendering stuff like that for movies, just please make more. Make so many more movies. It would be so good. I mean, who'd have thought all them years ago when we had, like, early um, forerunners of CG entertainment? Like, pure 100% CG entertainment, but they were like kids' cartoons, basically. Like Reboot, you know, which I mentioned earlier, which nobody's seen that, then go, go look for it. It's so good. It's from the 90s, so it's a bit rough, but it was good. I've, I've got the entire four seasons of it um, on my hard drive. It's great. I watch it every now and then when I, when I need to revert to my childhood for a bit. I watch that. It's good. But um, from that roughness to ooh, Final Fantasy movies, great stuff. Hope I feel better soon. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah, I just, I just need to rest it. Um, I, I had a soak in the bath last night and it got a little bit better, but then overnight, of course, I've been sat, uh, sorry, sat, been laid on it a little bit and Oh, yeah, it was not fun getting out of bed this morning. The story is still great. You mean reboots? Because I agree, it is. Especially when you got to season three. Oh, season two and three are my favorites. Four was a bit shit. You know, they, they kind of went weird with four. <laughs> Reebok. <laughs> yeah, reboot. Um, four wasn't very good, but... Seasons 2 and 3 were really, really good. They actually removed it from UK television when it was still new and airing. Like, uh, you know, the, the first time it was being aired on ITV here in the UK, they removed Reboot after like five or six episodes into season 3 because it was getting too dark for kids' television. And it's like, put it on two freaking hours later! I want to watch it! Balls to you guys at the blooming... BBFC censorship board. You Nobody asked you to enjoy it. <laughs> Stop taking my fun away from me, you boring old farts. You know? Like, we have more hours in the day. Put it on later, maybe. Uh, okay, whatever. So I was pissed off that I didn't actually get to finish... Uh, I was like, what? 14, when Reboot was coming out on TV here in the UK. Um, season 3 was cancelled. And they didn't air it. And then I had to wait until I was like 26 maybe or 27 when I finally got my hands on the remaining season 3 and season 4 as well. By searching high and low across the internet looking for it and I finally got it. And I now have copies of those on my hard drive for safekeeping. And my life felt complete. <laughs> Which I know is sad. But, you know, whatever. Hey! Hey! Oh, 
Oh god, this guy is a big mantis shrimp. Boom! Okay. Alright, he likes the small sword. Oh, he doesn't like the small sword rather better. Kill him! Get the butter ready. We're having ourselves a lobster bake. Ignis is going to come up with a new recipe for this one. Gonna be a lobster thermidor. Look at it though, it's wriggling. Oh, that's so disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Throw magic on him. Uh, it was it was over quickly enough. Can't wait to try it. He's come up with a new recipe. He did. You came up with lobster bisque. Nice. I like it.